And now, from Tommy and Eddie, who bring you SGTV, the Laugh More with the Skit Guys podcast, and the book Smells Like Bacon, it's time for Bedtime Bible Stories with the Skit Guys. It's almost time for bed, before you rest your sleepy head. We hope you'll take a moment or two. We got a bed and mama story for you. You okay? <laughs> my heat is out in my house and it's so cold. Before you end the day, before you count those sheep, ah, 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 let us tell you a bedtime story. So, so you could have a great night. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Cause it's bedtime Bible stories. Bedtime Bible stories. Bedtime Bible stories with the skit guys. Buddy, hey, buddy. are you okay? Hi. It looks like you're really cold. Cold, buddy. It's so cold. It's usually not that cold in October in Texas. Oh, really? Yeah. It's oh. usually like in the 70s, maybe even the 80s. Really? I think so. Do you think maybe your air conditioner's turned down too low? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Ah, you're right, buddy. Oh, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. You got it, my bad. You already feel better? Oh, I'm not sweating as much. Fantastic, I love that. Thank love you, that. thank you, buddy. Hey, hey, everybody, my name's Tommy Woodard and this is a little Eskimo friend of mine is my best friend in the world. Hi. Hey. Hi, everybody. Hi, how's everybody doing? Good. Hi, my name is Eddie, and this is Bedtime Bible Stories, and we are so glad you're with us on Season 5 of Bedtime Bible Stories. Yes. I, you know what I'd love to know? I would love to know who's out there that is a BBS reg, all right, and you've seen every episode of Bedtime Bible Stories. I would like to, if you've done that, if you've seen every single episode Type it out. Let us know that yeah. you've seen every episode. I want to know. That's worth a shirt right there. If they well, have. I don't know. I don't know. You got to be honest. You, you yeah, can't just say it. You got to be honest. How we'd know, right? I know. Well, let's see what they say. Okay. We'll see. Let's see what they say. If, if you're here and you're like, seen every episode, I've never even seen one episode. Well, then that is what we call a newbie. Yeah. A newbie, type in your name. Tell us who you are. We'd love to get to know you. We'd love our BBS regs, our bedtime Bible story regulars to get to know who you are as well. And we would love to welcome you. If you have any prayer requests, any any hurts, anything that's going on, let let our let our tribe know, our family, our BBS reg family, family know, and we would love to uh, minister to you. Yeah, you can type it out there in the social medias or you can send it to us, skitguys.com right yes. there. All right, we prayer requests, anything like that. We'd love to know that. We'd also we like to take a minute to say thank you to our friends at K-Love who are so positive and encouraging. Yes, 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 yes. So what do we got going on tonight, buddy? What's, Fantastic. What's I'm glad. You, hey, hey, hey. The buzz. What's hey, the buzz? Hey, I'm glad you ask. I'm glad yeah. you ask. Somebody told me I, we need to remind people about skitguys.com slash SGTV that we hadn't what's said that? that in a while. What's that? Oh, What's that? I'm glad you ask. What's that? Skitguys.com slash SGTV is a great place for the whole family where you can go and watch videos. You can watch all the episodes of Bedtime Bible Stories with the Skit Guys, plus other videos that we've made. Uh, that's at skitguys.com SGTV. Not only that, but do you see that cool shirt Eddie's wearing there? Show him that shirt, buddy. You are God's idea. Yeah, you can get that shirt and many others at skitguys.com slash SGTV. But wait, there's more. If you'd like what? to be a part of this ministry where we make bedtime Bible stories and we send out Bibles to people who need Bibles and we make videos for families and for the church, you can join us in that mission by donating to our ministry at skitguys.com slash SGTV. 
I think I said so, I think I got it all in there. If they donate to skidguys.com, when they give to Skid Guys, they're giving through Skid Guys in many different ways. Yeah. Yeah. They're either giving like through Skid Guys to get Bibles to people or they're giving love- Skid Guys to get videos uh, to help encourage families. So I love yeah. churches, cool. families, you name it. Individual. Yeah. Thank you for everyone who joins us in ministry. Thank you so much. That means the world to us. We really appreciate yeah. it. Okay. okay. Those are good. Now, this is the time where usually I sit here quietly and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a red Bible appears. It happened. Yes. Yes. How did yeah. that happen? It just happens. That's crazy. Would you hand me that red Bible? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. It turned brown. Hold on. Let me give it back to you. Oh, mine, 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 it went faster over on this side. That was weird. My hand got stuck in the internet. I almost lost a digit. (laughs) I love it. Well, I got my Bible. I got my Bible right here. And guess who else has their Bible? This is Neil and Matthew with their Bibles. I love it. Oh, that's He's got a Jesus Calling Bible and he's got God Watches Over Me Bible. It's so funny, Tommy. Like, I see my grandpa in the corner there. I thought, what are they doing with my grandpa's picture in their house? (laughs) My house. But I really thought, well, that's so sweet. They have a picture of my grandfather in their house. A little picture of Severo in their house. That's right. So nice. Well, okay, we have our Bibles, and we're excited about that. And the passage we're looking at today is this, Ephesians Chapter six, verse thirteen. Very. If you if you grew up going to church or you've been to church very much, you may have heard this passage before. And we're going to read it. But before I read it, I'd like to have a special word of the day that I want to see if Eddie can guess this word of the day. And this one is going to be quite a challenge because we're doing something different today that I'm super excited about. Okay. So you want to hide your eyes, Eddie? And anybody else who wants to try to guess the word of the day, hide your eyes. Here's the word of the day. Okay. This is it. And all right. You can look now. So anytime you hear that word, just uh, shout out word or type out word, and we'll see if Eddie can guess it. And this is what's going to make it so, I'm not going to tell you. I'll tell you a second what makes it special, okay? The passage, like I said, Ephesians 6, 13. Oh, I had it open wrong. Oh, this is like two days ago with you. I am now, I don't have it open right. Galatians and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, first and second. I have it. Huh? You have it? Go ahead and read it. And then I'll read it in mine. Philippians 6, 6, 13. Yes. No, I'm sorry. Ephesians 6, 13, right? Right. Ephesians 6, 13. You got it. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you'll be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Fantastic. Mine is very similar, but I'll read it to you. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything uh, and after you have done everything to stand. Yes. So we're talking about the armor of God. Okay. Eddie and I actually made a video about the armor of God. And so we were talking about that and I thought, why don't we use that video? It's something special. When we talk about you uh, donating to skitguys.com, you see this kind of stuff, but there's other great things that happen. And this video would be another example of that, of things that we do uh, with the ministry money that we have. So anyway, this is called, I think it's just called the armor of God. Is that what we call this? Let's see. I will. Howdy ho, neighbor. Welcome to your best life now. I am your host, Dan D. Lewis, and I'm going to be your personal coach and help you be all you can be. You know, being a PE coach two years running at Tisdale Community College, I know just how tough life can be. I know what it's like to be questioned by the higher-ups and the administration as they look at you with your personal lack of hygiene and your improper use of the bad equipment. 
And that right there, Cupcakes, gets my defenses up. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Defense. And the best defense is the armor of God. Oh, yes, the armor of God, my friends. Speaking of defense, we're going to be comparing football equipment to the armor of God. I have enlisted a young Michael Seaver wannabe, and by the end of the day, he will be feeling some growing pains. Come on out, son. Ready to go, Coach Dandy. Whoa, whoa don't ever call me that again. Oh, okay, Coach Baldy. Hey! Don't make me angry. You would not like me when I'm angry. That's the Incredible Hulk. Bill Bixby, not that Edward Norton guy. Blah. Eh, okay. Tell me your name, Cupcake. Uh, my name's Stevie Stevenson. I'm a seventh grader at George Washington Middle School. Go Chompers! No, no, it's not Chompers. It's Chompers like George Washington chopped down the cherry tree. Uh, no, it's Chompers. It's referring to his wooden falls teeth. You are a weird one, Cupcake. Here's the deal. I've got a young Screech-like figure here, and behind me I have a case filled with cinder blocks that weighs roughly 330 pounds. That is the same weight as a NFL lineman or rerun from what's happening. Hey, Raj. Stevie is going to take a hit from this case just to show you how this football equipment works. Assume the position, Daniel son. What's a Daniel son? So, how about Phil Doogie Hauser? Not so bad. It seems like the padding took most of the hit. Just you wait, Henry Higgins. This is going to be rough. Now to give you a better understanding of the armor of God, Ephesians 6 says this, that our feet must be covered with the gospel of peace, much like these cleats down here, these modern day cleats. So my young Stevie Wonder, take off those cleats. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. I have an unidentified foot fungus and my mom says that Well, the... I am not paying you to think, take off the cleats. I'm getting paid for this? <laughs> aye, aye, Capitan. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Just had a mash flashback. Sorry. Here we go. One. Two. Three. How are we doing, Mr. Belvedere? Uh, I think I got some carpet burn on my big toe. That's what I'm talking about. No pain, no gain. But I'm allergic to pain. Well, then you better take an histamine, Topanga. You see, friends, the Bible also says about the armor of God that we must be gritted with the belt of truth. Same thing as gritted. Hmm? Uh, my, past, my pastor pronounces it gritted, but then again, he makes up his sermons every Sunday morning on the spot, so what does he know? <laughs> well, tomato, tomato, either way, you're going to have to lose those football pants. Excuse me? You heard me. Lose the capris, Curly Sue. It hurts when you call me a girl's name. I don't care what it hurts. I need you to take off the football pants and get off the island, Marianne. I'd rather be ginger. <laughs> How we doing, Cupcake? My bum is bummed out. Pardon my French. Stop it. You're fine, you're fine. No apology necessary. Now, my friends, this is where my little analogy about the armor of God kind of breaks down because in Ephesians 6, it talks about the sword of the spirit and the shield of faith. And in football, we don't have swords and we don't have shields. How about this one? Holy dance fever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of gym is this? Now, hold on. Okay, this is becoming a full house. Now, Michelle, put that sword down before someone gets hurt. I thought that was the point. All right, Tootie, I'm about to teach you the facts of life and teach you the point. My hands are bleeding. Where were we? Oh, okay. All right, yes, uh, Ephesians 6, it talks about the breastplate of righteousness, and we're going to compare that to these shoulder Why don't you just take those off? Yeah, yeah, I owe you that much. Oh, my spleen! Oh, I'm tasting blood. Uh, other than that, I think I'm okay. How do I look, Dan? You look good. You look, you look good. <sighs> Last but not least in the armor of God is the helmet of salvation. Helmets are important? Well, because heads are important. To show what life would be like without salvation, Stevie, take off the helmet. No. Yes? Listen, your coaching shorts are too tight. If you think I'm gonna take a blow to the head without the helmet on. Just take one for the team, Stevie. Oh, oh, speaking of taking one for the team, the team's gonna be awfully ticked when they see what you did to their helmet. What under the helmet? I cannot afford another helmet. What's wrong with this helmet? I told you, this was a bad idea. I can't see nothing wrong with this helmet. Let me help you. 
Dan D. Lewis. I love Stevie Stevenson. They're two of my favorite characters. Two great characters. Two great ones. I love it when he calls him Dandy. Okay, Dandy. And Dan Lewis is like, don't ever call me that. <laughs> great. Well, okay. And that, that gives you a great example of the armor of God and how we're supposed to put on each piece of the armor of God to protect us as we go throughout our day. Yeah. And, and what I love too is although it was a funny video, it took the time to go through what everything was, you know, yes. that you put this on your feet and, and these are the pads that you wear here and you put on the breastplate of righteousness and yes. you've got the sword and that big giant sword that Stevie had. You've got the sword, which is the word of God and then the helmet of salvation. And all of these things are so important. Um, Eddie, do you know what the word of the day was? Um, it's a little tricky. Yeah, I think it was um, armor. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Yes, armor. I did it. Not to be confused with amor, which is love. Oh, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. But friends, we need to remember that this life that we live is challenging, and and and, and to live the life that we've been called to live as Christians, we have to be on guard all the time. We don't ever get to let up. But God doesn't leave us down here defenseless. He's provided for us a defense to be able to take care of ourselves. And, and so that armor of God is just an illustration that is used to help us understand what exactly it is that we need to do. I love that. That's a good word. So what is one thing this week, as you go into the week, that you can be thinking of, I'm weak in this area and I need to put on the armor of God. I'm weak here. God, I need your help. So I'm going to put on the armor of God and I'm going to need you to protect me. And don't forget the word of God, the sword right here protects. Hey, speaking of the word of God, I saved this till now because I thought it would be good because you said I knew you were going to the word of God. But we also have Lydia's life verse. And oh, this cool. is one way that she uses the word of God. Okay. So this is Lydia with her life verse right here. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbors as yourself. Luke 10, 27. Mm, that's so great. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And that's a great example of how we use the word of God. We right. use it. We memorize it. And it reminds us. It works in us and through us. Uh, and, and it helps other people. We can help other people when we remember God's word. So stick to it. Good stuff. Okay. Hey, raise your hand if you all, who has a life verse out there? Like you feel like there's a piece of scripture that you love and it and you you would say it for the rest of your life. It's, it's a life verse. It's one of your favorite verses of all time. Okay, email us at skitguys.com. You video in yourself or have someone video you saying your life first because we want to put it on the air and allow God's word to ripple throughout the kingdom. All right. So let's allow God's word to go all over and you get to play a part in that when you send in your life first. That's the way you grab that sword of the spirit and swing it at people. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's what right. I'm talking about. That's really good, buddy. That's really good. Keep yeah. swinging. All right, let me close this with a word of prayer. Prayer is just okay. talking to God. Let's talk to him right now. Heavenly Father, we love you. Thank you that you don't leave us here defenseless, but that you have provided armor for us. Help us to understand that. Help us to put it on uh, and help us to hold on to your word, which is the sword of the spirit. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, as you end your day, as you count those sheep we had fun with our bible story hey go get some sleep love you buddy love you too buddy bye, bye.
Bedtime Bible Stories is a ministry of the Skit Guys and is brought to you in partnership with Caleb. Be sure to check out Tommy and Eddie's book, Smells Like Bacon, for hilarious stories from their 30-plus year friendship and tips to help you find and be a good friend. If you'd like to watch more Skit Guys videos, see Tommy and Eddie's tour schedule, and find out how you can support the ministry, visit skitguys.com slash sgtv. Bye!